Hi, I'm Jeff with Westcott Designs and today we're going to talk about two variations of roof racks. We've got our Westcott Designs roof rack here. We have a, another competitor roof rack that's right here. Uh, I want to show you a couple differences between our rack and their rack. Um, one of the things that I can show you right off the bat is the way the mounting brackets are. They are made into the side panels. These side pieces here on this roof rack are all aluminum. And what they do is they fold the aluminum or bend the aluminum here for their brackets in both the uh, front roof rack mount and also the rear roof rack mount. Um, basically, you're using the aluminum to bend and, you're, and the problem you run into is when you put load on this, it starts to bend right here at the crease because it's already been fatigued, it's already been bent already. So what we've done is we have done on our rack is we've made the side panels, as you can see, one piece, smooth all the way from front to back. There's no breakup. There's no breakup in the line throughout the roof rack. Back here on the brackets, we actually make the brackets separately. And the reason we make the brackets separately is A, so we can keep the line nice and clean through the side. The other reason for it is so the brackets, we can actually make them out of steel. So their weight capacity is a much higher and, there's, and the fatigue rate of the rack actually bending or flexing there is lessened because we're able to get a lot more load on it before it actually starts to bend. Um, we do use the same type of cylinders as this rack does, um, but yes, our rack is, we and also design it this way, was so when the wind goes by the side of the car, we can minimize the amount of air that travels through the roof rack or against the brackets and stuff to minimize the wind noise or to get rid of the wind noise. Um, that's also in our, our visor design um, to get rid of all wind noise. Uh, another uh, question we get from a lot of customers, what is the weight capacity? Can you stand on the bars? Will it hold my weight? And let me just show you real quick. Uh, we did just put one of our ladders on this vehicle. Our ladders have the exact same bars. So it's a one inch tall by two inch wide and it has the same track system in it. So you can hang things on the ladder as, as so. So the nice thing is, is any attachment you could put on the ladder, you could put on the roof rack or vice versa. Um, and of course it does have our signature bottle opener, which is great. These steps are super wide. So when you step on the step, your foot does not roll over the front of the step to actually scratch the back door on the vehicle. So I'm gonna step up here, climb up on here. It's got a handle on the top of the ladder, climb up on the roof here and just show you. So this rack here, has the same type of crossbars as our rack does. Um, you can step on these. Um, there isn't a ladder on this one over here, so I'm just gonna show you on here. But the crossbars are super sturdy. As you can see, I'm standing right in the middle of them. Um, I can actually step my foot off. There, it does get close. I can still get a hand or finger underneath of them. So you're fine there as far as the, the depth of it. But yes, they're super sturdy all the way across. So you could walk across the ladder or the roof rack on the vehicle to do so.